good morning dear students today we are going to discuss about the characteristics of dc generator characteristics of dc generator what are the characteristics the dc generator is having so there are three characteristics which normally we uh, taken when we are going to uh, select the uh, generator for any application purpose so one is open circuit characteristics another one is the internal or total characteristics and another one is the external characteristics so there are three major characteristics we normally use to discuss open circuit characteristics internal or total characteristics and the external characteristics so one by one we will be seeing right yes first open circuit characteristics what is open circuit characteristics open circuit characteristics is drawn between the open circuit voltage and the field current it also called as magnetizing characteristics or no load saturation characteristics because so we drawn this graph or we obtain this open circuit characteristics by Uh, increasing the field current by increasing the field current gradually and corresponding terminal voltage corresponding voltage will be marked with from the voltmeter under the no load conditions keeping the uh, your speed constant for a particular speed right for a particular speed for a particular speed field current is varied and uh, the corresponding no load voltage is measured across the armature terminal when no load is connected right this is open circuit characteristics so how we do it this is a diagram for the open circuit characteristics you are the field winding the field winding of the dc machine is energized from the separate dc source and the field current is adjusted with the help of the field resistance and the voltage across your armature will be measured for the corresponding field current here we keep the speed as a constant for particular speed right so for is what is for is simple you keep running the generator at this particular speed right and no load should be connected then you gradually increase the field current then measure the voltage the field current will be Uh, increased up to it is maximum value then you will get the maximum voltage and here we can say the emf equation of the uh, generate we know eg equal to z n pi divided by 60 p by a where z is number of conductor n is speed uh, pi is flux p is pole and a is parallel path so here we know already number of conductor constant the 60 also constant poles also constant parallel path is constant that means you can say the eg that proportional to speed and flux suppose you keep the speed also constant we can say generate voltage directly proportional to the magnetic field flux right that's what if the field flux is controlling the generator voltage so we need to uh, have the flux increasing flux increase the voltage decreasing flux decrease the voltage and but at the same time the flux cannot be increased beyond it is saturation will after certain value the flux will be remaining constant that is called as a saturation right that you will get the red this constant voltage so you can say and here let us to come to this graph right this is your graph where the graph is drawn between the field current and no load voltage for a different speed For example, this is for the speed n one. It may be a thousand RPM you keep, and it is for n two thousand two hundred RPM, n three thousand three hundred RPM like that. So for the different speed, suppose the speed is increasing accordingly, your voltage also get increased, and it will get saturation after the certain field current because we you are using the magnetic material, so flux will get saturation. So the open circuit characters it is drawn between the field current and no load voltage for a particular speed with no load is imposed on the generator right this is the yes here we can also keep one things here small even though field current is 
zero. But still, there is a small voltage that is called as a residual voltage, residual magnetism. We already said the magnetic material which is used will have small amount of residual magnetism due to which you will have the small amount of voltage here, even though the field current is zero. Right. Another one is the internal characteristics. Internal characteristics is showing the relation between the no load EMF and the armature current. No load EMF and armature current. So no load EMF is always less than the E naught due to the armature reaction. We already say armature reaction is due to the presence of armature current. Right. So always this no load generated EMF will be lesser than the E naught open circuit voltage. Right. So on this very important characteristics. So the open circuit characteristics are almost the same for all machines. So another very important characteristic is external characteristics. The external characteristics is a very important character because based on this only we select the uh, generator. We have the DC shunt generator. We have the DC series generator. We have the compound generator in case of self excited and also we have the separate lecture these generators. So which type of generator we need that will be based on the external characteristics that will be based on the external characteristics which is drawn between the terminal voltage and the load current terminal voltage and load current under the loader condition right so the external characteristics will be drawn when the generator is loaded between the load current and the terminal voltage and based on the external characteristics only we select the armature or we select the generator for our applications right so it is also called as a performance characteristics or load characteristics. So characteristics of the separately exceeded DC generator. Separately exceeded this generator, you can say here, we have three different uh, so One is for the, this blue line, for the graph for load current, and no load voltage. That means we do not make any, this load current nothing but your field current if load is not connected. That you have this graph. And another one is when you consider the armature drop, there will be a slide down of the graph. And when you consider the losses in your armature also, then that graph is further down like this. So this is, you can say, this is your external characteristics and this is internal characteristics and this is your open circuit characteristics. So three graph have been drawn, right? So it is your nodal characteristics and coming below, it is your internal characteristics and further below your external characteristics. Because of in the external characteristics, we consider the drop in your armature resistance also drop due to the armature reaction, due to the armature reactions, right? This is the separately excited DC generator separately excited dc generated characteristics right next one is we can say the dc shunt generator that we see in the uh, next class that we see in the next class 